What's up guys, my name is Jason and this is Bold Coast Exotics. Alright guys, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the uh, battle I'm having with mites. It's been two weeks since I've done my uh, first treatment. And as you can see, he already looks a million times better. Now I still see a few, like that right there is uh, just a random black scale on him. But I still see a few little black dots. Now if I don't keep up on this, the infestation could explode again. So what I'm going to do is give him one more treatment. Yeah, I still see a few on his tail. And a few underneath his uh, head here. How do you get him to look up? But I'm going to give him one more treatment. I did take a break. Uh, I treated him for a week with the mixture that we made. and. Uh, and then I took a break after that to feed him because it was um, it's time to feed. I usually feed him about every two weeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray him down with this again and rub it underneath the scales. I do have better gloves this time so I can actually get in there nice and dirty. And uh, we're gonna try it for one more week and we should, I believe, eradicate our issue. Once I get this 100% cured and, and over with, I'll go ahead and, uh, and I'll share the video as well as what I did here um, from Snake Discovery. So we're just going to go ahead and damp some tape, paper towel down with this mixture, rub it underneath his scales. We're going to go ahead and uh, change out his uh, uh, the paper towel that we have in there with him too. Just repeat the process. So what I've done is just sprayed it on my hands trying my best just to work it into the scales. Good news is, is he survived the first treatment, so that's that's great. I was super nervous that this was going to kill him, do some real damage to him. Once I get this done, once I get him cleared of this, I get these mites out of my uh, snake room here, I'll actually do a video on him, and explain my plans with him, and, and all that jazz. Now the uh, other snakes that I saw these on, completely cleared up. No issue whatsoever. He is, he is about, I don't know, 15 feet away from, from the racks that I keep the bull pythons in. So that might be something to do with it. Maybe uh, that really helps with it spreading so much. Such a handsome snake. Can't wait till he gets some size on him. <clears throat> that wet, <clears throat> damp paper towel. The ivermectin mixture. Just trying to really get it underneath the scales this time. Got some underneath his chin. Huge improvement. It's about treating boas over bull pythons is that the scales are so much more finer. The bull python scales are bigger. He's still a baby, so. Such a good boy. Nice long tongue flicks there. So, see if he's content. Mustache there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change out his bedding. Take the water out of there again for three days and uh, spray that down again and just do this for one more week. I don't know if you can see that uh, very clear. That's actually a dead mite. I'm gonna clean these down too before I put it back in. See how well he's cleaned up. Again, those of you that didn't see the last uh, video, um, I took all the substrate out, all of the decorations out, uh, treated all of those. I've scrubbed this thing out and uh, had to put in some simple white containers for hides just so that I could see um, the amount of mites that were dropping off of him. 
Um, so this isn't how I keep him. Um, of course, I throw my animals. I give him nice, cozy homes. This is just how I'm treating him so I can kind of control or at least see uh, how well this treatment is working. But you can barely see anything on him now. All right, so just a super quick update. I'll do another update next week, and if I do not see 100% improvement then, um, then I'll try something else. Uh, my mentor had suggested something, maybe I'll just have to bite the bullet to go over and uh, pick up what he has and try that then. But I do see an improvement, so at least we're going in the right direction. I'll see you guys in the next one.